For a while now, McLean High School has had a rapidly evolving stress culture that pushes over half of McLean's 2,300 students to take one or more AP classes. The COVID-19 pandemic brought new attention to burnout in the workplace, and it's high time to take a better look at it in McLean and FCPS, where close to 90% of students report moderate or high stress from work. McLean definitely has a stress culture. We're a very academic school, so there's a lot of pressure on getting good grades and things like that. Like, there's a lot of pressure that you need to have a lot of APs to get into a good college, or you need to have a certain amount of APs to look good. Um, and when you see so many other people taking up to seven APs, you feel just a need to take that many, otherwise you feel like you're not as good or not as smart as the others. A lot of students take pride in take how many AP courses they're taking, and I, I don't think that's healthy because, you know, you shouldn't be proud of, like, losing sleep or not spending time with your loved ones, I mean. The stress culture at McLean really ignores a lot of the students' experience. Um, I think students are constantly stressed, and that's just the norm here. I think that any high-achieving academic institution has a culture of stress. I think kids feel pressure to take as many APs as they can to be competitive with their peers and get to the best schools. Whereas freshmen and sophomores take one to two APs, juniors and seniors can take up to seven. I'm taking one AP class, uh, AP World. I'm only taking one AP, AP World. I'm taking six AP classes this year. Um, they are AP Lang, A Push, AP Physics, um, AP ComSci A, what else? AP Chemistry and BC Calculus. So this year I'm taking four AP classes and they are AP Literature, AP Government, AP Environmental Science, and AP Statistics. The trend seems to continue as current students plan to take even greater course loads next year. Um, I'm thinking about taking three AP classes next year, definitely. I want to take AP U.S. History, AP uh, Calc AB, and AP English next year. This year I'm planning on taking at least four APs, um, and those would be AP BC Calc, AP Lang, AP Music Theory, uh, AP Spanish, and then possibly AP Physics and AP Push. Most of the classes I want to take are AP classes, not because they're AP classes, but because like I'm interested in them. And I want to take a lot of math courses, and I've heard that like above like the junior, the like average junior classes, they get easier. So maybe six or seven. While the clinical team and staff at McLean have noticed the issue. Students still feel an unusual amount of pressure. Some students note the pandemic intensified that pressure, and teachers hypothesize that pressures from peers and parents would play a role too. Many students can become overwhelmed by the amount of stress that they are under, which can lead to them feeling burned out, overwhelmed, unable to keep up. I feel overwhelmed just because coming from like COVID, and it was, to me, the online school was a lot easier, so trying to manage everything is a lot more difficult. Also, with the transition to an AP class, it wasn't, it was a lot more difficult than I was expecting. But I can definitely see myself being stressed out next year, especially because I do three sports, so we'll see how it goes. I get a lot of homework, and a lot of times it feels like I don't have enough time to complete everything I get, but some ways I cope are just, like, thinking, like, Maybe if I take the late grade, it's only a 90%, and I mean, that's not so bad. And it's probably better worth my while to get more sleep and so I can be more attentive during class than to finish up the homework. Yeah, I think that my AP classes definitely add a lot of stress onto me. Um, you know, juggling all of my APs with the electives that I take, as well as, you know, the sport that I play and responsibilities that I have at home is a lot. It's signing up for five or six APs in one year um, definitely contributes to burnout and just like overall stress throughout the year. I mean I'm hoping my class doesn't on its own contribute to burnout. Um, we've cut down a lot of our AP Lang curriculum this year just because of homework restrictions and other things set by the county so we've really tried to remain cognizant of the fact that 
they really should only be doing like 30 minutes of homework a night. So I'm hoping that my class is not contributing to that stress. I think that it's not only just AP courses, I think, you know, uh, the expectations that we, 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 we place upon young people in society today contribute to that as well. Um, the pressures of, of entering and getting accepted to university, the pressures from parents, the pressures that peers put place upon their peers. In an increasingly complex world, it's hard to reason against individual, peer, parental, and societal pressures. So, students, teachers, and the school psychologists offer advice on how to choose a balanced schedule and still enjoy everything McLean has to offer. One of your biggest regrets is going to be, it's not going to be, oh, I wish I, I wish I got an A and A push. It's going to be, I wish I spent more time with my parents or like I called my grandma more often and stuff like that. My advice for students taking rigorous courses would be to prioritize their mental and physical health. I think that often uh, with really rigorous courses and with a lot of them, students tend to uh, lose track of their mental health and they allow the stress levels that they get from their schoolwork to kind of overwhelm them and I think that also kind of seeps into their physical health because as students uh, you know tend to stay up pull all-nighters and not get enough sleep as well as start eating in not as healthy ways it really affects their physical health and those should be the top priorities for students. Um, I would say Pick courses that you're interested in. So if you don't like English, then don't take an AP English class. During the registration period, it's a time for introspection. That means that uh, students have to make wise choices. They have to weigh the pros and cons and, and, and really think seriously about how much they can handle. And that involves you know, having conversations with parents, having conversations with students in grades above them who went through that experience having conversations with, with counselors, and having conversations with teachers. You know, no teacher is going to say, take five APs. I think it's important for each student to decide what is important for them, rather than noticing or making a decision based on what other students around them are doing. Decisions that are right for other students are not right for you. You have to make decisions based on what is right for you, your own goals, your interests, and your plans. This has been Karina Bott reporting for WMHS News.